Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno5 Lite, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, I'm going to progress just a little bit further, just so you can see that I do have the device locked. There we go. As you can see, it tells me to uh, verify the old pattern, and if I close it, it will move over to the Google account instead. And there we go, verify your account. So without any of those, we can't really finish up the setup. So to bypass this, you will need a SIM card. That SIM card needs to have some kind of pin on it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of pin. And yeah, I'm just gonna pack out. I'm gonna also take off the cover because I need to insert the SIM card. There we go. And let's pop the SIM card in. Okay, so I just put in the SIM card, and from here, we're going to enter the pin. This will keep us on the lock screen, give it a second, and it will show up with this. You wanna drag this message down, it will pull down your notification panel, and from here, you wanna select settings. And now, unfortunately, this is uh, Part of like the Oppo and a couple other companies. Well, it's technically one company, but different brands that do this uh, stupid trash where they change the uh, language of the device. Now, if you've seen, it was in English. I put, popped in a Polish SIM card, and there we go. We have Polish language. So right now, I'm gonna quickly switch the language back to English, just so we can have a adequate comparison to how it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna see where would it be. Personalize maybe? maybe? Nope, that's just a personalization. Additional settings, yep, there we go. So right here I'm gonna add English, drag it over, there we go. Change it and voila, we have now actual English. So going back to the bypass, uh, once you Select the settings icon, you will be presented with obviously the settings as you can see right here, hopefully in the desired language. And from here, you're gonna simply scroll all the way down to again additional settings, then scroll down. Let's see. Yep, scroll down to backup and reset, and then select erase all data factory reset and choose erase all data. Confirm it. You confirm it again, I guess. And Yep, now it's gonna begin the factory reset of your device. Now, the reason you wanna do this is because factory resetting your device to the settings, uh, on this phone at least, removes things like Google accounts and any kind of protection that was previously set. So basically, you fully unlock the device by resetting it through settings. Uh, thus, it will bypass the verification. So I'm just gonna let this run through, uh, finish up uh, the factory reset once it has uh, which will take about like five minutes, we should be greeted with the setup screen. So I'll come back once that is actually visible. Okay, and as you can see, the process is now finished. We're back in the setup screen. Now, right here, it's popping me up with the SIM pin again. I'm just gonna pop out the SIM card because we don't need it for the rest of the process anymore. This should disappear. Oh, there we go. So let's unlock the device. Uh, no SIM card insert installed, whatever, it doesn't matter. So I'm quickly gonna go through the entire setup, uh, skipping as much as I can, but you will be obviously able to see that um, Skipping Wi-Fi is an option right now. And additionally, there won't be anything that is blocking me from finishing up the setup, which is usually not what would happen if the device is locked.
And there we go. As you can see, we're now on a home screen with a device fully unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.